Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands in a Radio, where we look at radio, portable shortwave radios, most of the time under $20, and we've got that pretty well covered. And now we're starting to stretch into some other different things. And uh, today, an amazing today, we come in at $17.99 with shipping, brand new Grundig M Mini 400. It's an AM FM shortwave travel radio. Very, very cool. Like I said, it was brand new. That's amazing. And uh, I've already taken some liberties and dropped some batteries in it just to make sure that it at least gave me a display and everything was okay. Let's get it out of here and take a look at what we've got. Nice packaging. And here it is, and it was red. And I just, I just dig the red. Comes in a, a neoprene case. And inside the case we have uh, earbuds. The owner's manual's in there. Very, very cool. I like the, the, the case idea for these things. A little belt loop there. Don't know if you can see that or not. And back to this, it's, did I say it was red? Oh, it's a pretty, pretty red. And it reminds me of a Honda Civic, or a, no, a Honda Accord that we used to have many, many years ago. It was this color red, really pretty. It's got kind of a rubberized feel to it. Uh, don't know how that'll hold up over time. Um, it's got a good feel to it, but it's still, it's kind of a rubberized feel. And not your normal hard plastic, here you go. Uh, I do have the tape measure here. Four and a half by three by a half inch thick. So about the size of a three by five card. And not much thicker than one either. A half inch thick. I guess it's a little thicker than a three by five card, huh? Anyway, I digress. Sometimes I say weird stuff. And I'll get called out for it, I'm sure. Anyway, what a neat, neat, neat little radio. The story is, I had one of these. I think I paid 22 for it. It wasn't new. And I got it. And it was, well, they said it worked. Well, yeah, the clock worked, and that was it. The tuning wheel just fell off. I mean, it, like it broke inside here. And it, it was horrible. Absolutely horrible. So this time I made sure it said new. So at least we have a, a fighting chance. Over on the left-hand side, we have a switch. FM, AM, shortwave 1, shortwave 2. That's it. Uh, about an inch and a half, two-inch speaker maybe about two inch round speaker at least the opening's two inches nice display here i've already i went ahead and set the clock just to show you there's the clock uh, we have a power button alarm so it could be you know a travel alarm time hour minute that's it very very simple no real instructions needed on this one a tuning wheel up here this one seems to be intact really stiff that's okay a lock button so we can lock this down and and you won't bang around and hit volumes and and change the tuning or any of these buttons they can lock you can lock that out volume wheel very easy to use there dc adapter on the back side is just tells us the frequencies of 5.9 to 10 megahertz on shortwave 1. Shortwave 2 is 11.65 to 18 megahertz. Standard AM FM. And it takes two AAA batteries. I've already installed those, obviously. And then there's your band selector. The antenna is on top. Short, cute little antenna. It comes to us at 13 inches. And also, if you can see, the headphone uh, jack is on top there. So let's just fire this up and see what we got. I never got to play with the other one, so this is completely new to me. Got a good sound. Here. 
Let's go down. Roseman, California. Great to have you on. I picked this not 98.1. I pick it not for the content, but I pick for the fact that it's not music. And I can get an idea of the, the audio quality on FM. Not accidental. It's because of their schooling. The word school comes from a Greek word that means to control, hinder, or retard. There's full volume. And that's what it does. So it's not uh, bad. Years ago, I was... Of course, it'll sound a lot better with music, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. It's got a nice sound. Just love these little Grunding models. We've looked at the old Mini 300, the Mini 100, the Traveler 2, just uh, all kind of little ones. I love these little things. Okay, better quit that before the copyright police get me. And let's go to AM. Let's go all the way down to the bottom here. Just see if there's anything. Of course, it's, you know, almost 2.30 in the afternoon. I don't expect much. That should be WLW, and it's nothing. Okay. Okay. The right answer. Well, there's our local station. Yes. So at least the AM works. Okay, there's that. Let's go to shortwave and see what we got. Start all the way down to the bottom here. Uh, you know, it's uh, in the afternoon, so I would say anything above 10 megahertz will be good. Anything below would be more of a nighttime thing. I apologize for any wind that you might hear. It just started to pick up. It's supposed to really pick up here tonight. So far, it's kind of a deaf little radio. At least I'm in short wave. The last, the last time I did this, I had a radio, had it on long wave, going through the short wave bands. And it was on long wave. And I thought, boy, this radio is junk. It's so deaf and what a junk radio and blah, blah, blah. And I had a, a viewer comment and said, I think you were in long wave the whole time. And uh, I had it in the wrong gear driving around. It was kind of funny. Anyway, I'm in the right gear this time. But, I mean, there was nothing there. Let's go to shortwave 2. Now, I will say, I just looked. We reviewed a half hour ago the mini... 300 and was just dazzled by what we got on shortwave so I'm kind of using that as a barometer for this thing and you can go back probably a video or two and, and see that video it's a yellow radio okay let's turn it up here and see what we can find moving kind of quickly because I don't hear a thing. And I also kind of know where the channels are at. At least it is continuous. That's kind of nice. I mean, there's gaps in it, but it's in between band one and two, but at least it seems continuous. Okay. Oh, 11, can I get down that far? 11635 was the numbers lady. That might be their ending signal. We, we heard the numbers lady on 11635. Yeah, so that's her. You can barely hear it. it. Was crystal clear on that Mini 300. Now, in its defense, propagation may have changed in 15 or 20 minutes. I mean, that, that happens on shortwave. 
So I have to give it a little bit of, of understanding. This is easier to tune than the Mini 300. Okay. That's interesting. And there's Radio Havana, Cuba. We're almost at the end of the end of the dance here with this thing. Oh, I better quit. I learned, I learned, I, wait, wait, I learned this move from Totterberg. If you get a chance, Totterberg, check out his channel. He does radio reviews as well. It's a great, great, great channel. And, uh, yeah, I learned that, that dance move from him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, don't get me laughing too hard, I'll start to cough. Right there. And that is as far as she goes. Cool. Not a bad little radio. I know with the Mini 300, I didn't rate it. I'm probably going to put that rating down in the, the captions of it all or something. I forgot to do that. And, uh, the Mini 300, I would probably give a a 7.3, if I can remember that. Uh, it was a really impressive little radio. Um, this little guy, eh, not, not as impressive. Uh, definitely doesn't have the volume. To be a travel radio, it doesn't have the volume that I would have thought. Sensitivity-wise, it's not very sensitive. Uh, it's just kind of a, an okay radio. I'm glad I didn't pay more than $17.99 for it. I've seen these things go really, really expensive. And I would not pay a lot of money for it. Uh, so I got very, very lucky that this was $17.99, brand new. Uh, it was, it's worth that. Uh, for $17.99, I'll give it a 4.5 out of 10, maybe. Um... Uh, definitely is not a, a first choice to grab. I think the Mini 300 would be a lot better better bet. Um, that was just an overall surprising little radio. This, not, not so much. So, yeah, let's go, uh, go about four and a half out of ten. And uh, it's not really even a five performance-wise. But, uh, you know, it, it's easy to operate, and it looks good, and none of that counts. And, I mean, it, no instructions needed for this. It, it's that easy. But it's just, eh, I don't know. It's okay. We'll leave it at four and a half. I think I've done enough of these, and I'm, I'm probably pretty close. So, anyway, this has been a little review of the Grundy M-Mini 400. They call it an M-400, I guess. And uh, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. And that way you know any time that I, I do another video. And uh, as always down in the, in the, the uh, description box is two ways that you can help support the channel. Uh, one link where you can donate through PayPal. Anything's appreciated. It doesn't have to be a lot of money, whether it's a dollar, two dollars. You know, if if 900 subscribers all donated one dollar, holy cow, what kind of radios would we look at? Um, we'd be looking at a lot different radios, that's for sure. Um, I take all that money that's donated and 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 buy radios like this 
to share with the channel. So it just it keeps keeps that wheel going. And uh, so you know I don't want anybody to feel obligated. Only if you feel inclined to help, that's great. Uh, and also there's a link uh, where you can send a gift from my Amazon wish list. And there's things there, books and connectors and radios and all kind of stuff, uh, a myriad of prices uh, that you can send a gift and support the channel that way. And uh, with that, I think that's all I got today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we will see you at the next review.